everyone, it's Pirate. I have been far too busy. The holiday season was crazy, to say the least. I will be talking about my trip down to Houston, plus a whole bunch of other things. So, you read the title. It's a rugby match plus a sub of pickups and a whole bunch of stuff. So, I have about 16 records to show you plus some other stuff. So, I'm going to get right into it. I uh, wanted to show kind of a couple of things I got for Christmas, a couple of Funko Pops. Uh, <laughs> this is not turning into a Funko Pop channel, trust me. But I did get Cara Dune from The Mandalorian, as well as Cool from The Mandalorian. Really good show if you like Star Wars. also got a BB-8 Talking Blush. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I'm very excited for that. Also... Got a nice ukulele, so I have been practicing this in the hopes of releasing my own music eventually one day, so this is going to set me the right way. Now, in between things, I did go to a concert, so I've talked about uh, Diamante on this channel before. She just happened to be in town for uh, December. So I went and I saw her. This was literally just a little bit after Thanksgiving. So uh, I went and saw her. Got a really nice beanie for being a VIP. Great show. I mean, she is just an amazing performer. I loved her music, you know. I mean, really, she kind of came very close to being album of the year. Um, had to not let not drop that amazing album. But she is a... Uh, an amazing performer and a just a class person she's awesome so i did get the set list when i was at the show it was a very very fun show definitely um there were about 20 or so people there so it was a very intimate show <clears throat> also got this little novelty uh this is the world's smallest microscope but i am using it to make sure my stylus is nice and clean it does have a nice little light on it so i can go in uh have my stylus down and just make sure that uh it's i don't need to clean it which is nice but you're here for records let's talk about records so uh, before i went on my trip i picked up one particular seven inch i have two seven inches to show you uh the first being Marlon Peterson's A Lonesome. So this has A Lonesome and Pause on it. If you want to read all the notes, I'll leave this here so you can pause it. Ah. What I love about this is you get a really nice sticker, but that's the, this is just on standard black, that the labels actually match the aesthetic of the sleeve. It's very nice when seven inches go that little extra mile with that this is like singer songwriter kind of stuff she's got a very very unique voice to her so let's talk about my trip to texas it actually happened which is nice um went down to visit my uncle in houston spent a couple days there and i did stop at cactus records i'm actually representing them right now because i got a t-shirt here it's just it's got a record on it in a picture texas you probably can't see it here i'll stand up real quick to Give you an idea what it looks like. But I did pick up a couple things. This place is massive. Like, if I go to my store and they just decided to buy the place next to it and expand, that's about the size. So.
They had one big room for rock, a whole bunch of area, a big area for CDs, a whole bin of just record store day stuff, the $10 bin. It was crazy the amount of records that were there. There was a lot that I did want, but I did pick up a bunch of stuff. So the first thing I picked up is Metal Love Bones, Hold Your Head Up, and B-Side, Holy Roller. This was a record store day exclusive. It's just on stair black wax, but I did want to show the inner labels because they are cool. I'm trying to kind of keep a nice pace so we're not sitting here for like a half hour. The next one is an interesting one. Uh, I might do a top 10 for this year. I might not. I don't have all the releases in my top 10, but this is definitely one of them. This is the Nationals. I am easy to find. I did get it on a really nice deal. This is on clear wax and what i find really nice about this is this whole aesthetic is kept through the entire uh package i'm not going to open anything on camera here because i did want to get through this fairly quickly uh, the next thing i want to show is one that i didn't know uh honestly existed sorry i'm just checking things here i didn't know honestly this existed i thought this was some kind of fever dream that i had when i saw this but I'm very glad that I do have this. Uh, this is volume two. I'm hoping to get volume one. This is Nine Inch Nails with David Bowie, Back in Anger. This was a uh, radio broadcast at the Riverport Air, uh, Amphitheater, sorry. Maryland Heights, the 11th of October, 1995. So what's interesting about this is David Bowie had Nine Inch Nails open for him. And instead of having any downtime in between shows, they basically just transitioned smoothly in between. So the only real Nine Inch Nails song on here is Hurts, but I got it for the David Bowie side of things. And I'd eventually like to get the Nine Inch Nails live version, but this will hold me tight for now. At least, you know, it's something, it's really interesting to hear David sing with Trent on Hurts. It's very interesting, very cool how everything just kind of transitions. So. I'll, I'll definitely show you the uh, the really nice gatefold. I'm not going to open it up and show you. This is just on standard black. But I wanted to show how awesome that gatefold was. But I'm very happy to have this. It sounds awesome. Did pay a pretty, pretty penny for this. But definitely, definitely worth it. And the last thing I picked up while I was there was uh, Joni Mitchell's Court and Spark. Uh, I listened to the band Opeth, and Michael, the lead singer, put out a video of six records everybody should have in their collection. This just so happened to be one of them. I'm looking for all the other ones, but you should definitely check that video out. It is freaking awesome. And I just realized I miscounted. Um, I'm actually showing you 17 records, but I'll leave the title as is because I like it. So the next batch of records I wanted to show is what I got for Record Store Day this year. Um, I'm not going to go over Record Store Day, you know, I've talked ad nauseum on it, but um, I got pretty much everything on my list. Uh, the, the first one I'm going to show is one that was like a last minute ad. This was uh, Holland Oates, Daryl Hall, John Oates, Home for Christmas. And we'll show the back. Anybody who knows me knows I love Christmas music. This is on red wax and it is on a poly lined inner sleeve, which is really nice. The next is the Reds Silver. I think I've seen plenty of people here in the VC talk about this one, so I'm not going to talk too, too much about it, but if you want to pause and take a look at the track listing, go right ahead. The next two should seem like no-brainers for me, but the first uh, is Sugar Ray's 1459. This is on Red Wax. In the Sorecca Store Day first, I typically sometimes pick up records for day first because sometimes it's not even a pressing that you get. <coughs> Case in point is the Nationals uh, Boxer Live at Brussels. It came out digitally and not on vinyl. So who knows what's going to come from this. But I'm just, I'm glad to finally have Sugar Ray on wax. And then the last one, everybody talks about this one. It's me. I've talked about, talked about it on this channel. If you look up. Above me, you see the pictures. I had to get Pearl Jam unplugged. Um, I have not listened to all these yet. Um, 
The Hollow Notes is the only one I've listened to so far. Well, I did listen to The National and uh, Jody Mitchell, but there's plenty more that I have to show. I'm trying to keep things going, but if you want to take a look back at the track listing, <coughs> I'll leave that there. We're steaming right ahead. Steaming right ahead. Okay, so the next one I want to show is a not a replacement record, but I did try to buy the uh, Switchfoot album, the Half Clear, Half Blue, and that ended up not happening at all. So what I did do was picked up something kind of special. You might be able to see it via my back shoulder, but uh, I did pick up Lindsey Sterling's Artemis. And this, to be honest, is my record uh, album of the year, if I'm being honest. I'm already going to spoil my top 10 video, but this to me is, it's a surprise to be sure, but I was just completely blown away beginning to end on how wonderful this album is. And I did get a signed copy of this. This is not the signed copy. It should be behind me. Maybe if I turn a little bit, you might be able to see it behind me. But... This is on yellow wax, but Lindsey Sterling has always put out amazing songs and just amazing work with what she's done. I have her Christmas album, the extended version, and you know, Shatter Me is one that I've always wanted. And th this album, just beginning to end, is nonstop awesome. Uh, I, I think I'm probably the only one that's going to call this the album of the year because Slipknot put out a wonderful album. You know, Opeth did a really good job. Volby did a really good job. It's just, everybody did a really good job across the board. And this one just happened to be the best. I'm very glad I picked this up instead. Especially because that is the, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the signed version of it. We're going to go off of the records that I got for Christmas. Now, I am part of a forum called Needles and Grooves. It's a wonderful, wonderful forum. I recommend clicking the link down below to join. They are a great, great group. Uh, I was a part of a secret Santa. And what my Santa sent me is completely mind-blowing. Um, and in the, and the next five, I'm going to be showing you. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the next five I'm going to be showing you are what I got from my secret Santa. And if I would have just gotten two, I would have been happy, but I'm completely blown away. And without further ado, I'm just going to start first. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, with Vince Garvaldi Trio. Um, no introduction, no explanation needed. This is a 2012 reissue. 2012 reissue. Uh, heavyweight, flat, quiet sounding, awesome. I don't have to talk too, too much about this, but... I, I have the uh, the seven inch that came out with Linus and Lucy and Oh Good Grief that I got on Record Store Day that was gold. But now I have the full album to complement my Royal Guardsman, uh, Mary Snoopy's Christmas. I'm very happy about that. I'm still looking for a better play copy of Mary Snoopy's Christmas, but mine plays just fine. Uh, the next one is Lady Gaga, The Fame. Don't have too much pop music in my library, but I do love some good pop music and I'm sorry if you don't like her I like her but I'm not going to be apologetic on that um, this is a classic classic pop record very glad to have this everything looks good I haven't played this one yet um, some of the ones I still am not played I have a f I haven't got time because uh, I also got a Nintendo Switch for Christmas so that's been up a lot of my time work's been up a lot of my time so Time, trying to find time to post videos and all that. I'm, I'm just trying to find a good balance, but just go move it on. Lady Gaga is the fame. The next one is Zola Jesus Taiga, and I have listened to this one. This one's interesting. Um, <coughs> I don't even know how to describe this. It's um very singer, but pop-esque, and just unique. And, and I love music that's unique. And ones that I probably would never heard of and go out of my way to listen to. But I'm very happy to have that. The next one is one that probably y'all are going to smack me for not having up until now. But Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. No explanation needed on this one. I definitely love that all the lyrics are on the back. But 
standard black. Uh, not much to say with this. And we're going to move to the last one of that package. There's still two more I have to show. But the last one, all of those were pretty loved. Probably played a lot. Uh, but this last one was brand new in the package. I opened it up. Everything looks good. And this is Charlie Bliss Guppy. Do not know anything about this, but I do know that a couple of people on Twitter were really excited that I have this. So out of all the ones so far, I think this is the one that I'm most excited to pop on. I probably will after I'm done filming this video. So I'm going to be visiting a friend uh, at the time you're watching this video. So I uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend when you're watching this. But uh, yeah, I probably won't be able to I'll probably be listening to this or have listened to this by the time you're watching this video. But I'll definitely report back if I find anything interesting about any of these. So, the day before Christmas, I know we're going on a wacky timeline, um, one of my close friends who collects records was in town. We decided to pop by uh, my favorite record shop, Vinyl Days Records, here in Virginia Beach. And I was looking through trying to just pick something kind of cool to pick out. And I saw this. I was floored to find this. I didn't think this actually was pressed. But I am very happy to have this. This is a standard black pressing, but it is... Broken Bells self-titled. I loved the song that I wrote. It was one that was um, that I listened to a lot because I got it free on iTunes and then I forgot about it. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, <gasps> like, I cannot believe that I actually have this in my hand right now. I listened to this the other day. Just, it's an awesome album. If you haven't heard this album, you owe it to yourself to go listen to this. This is wonderful. Basically, James Mercer and Danger Mouse, uh, the lead singer of, I believe, The Smiths? No, not The Smiths. Uh, what? No, The Smiths. No, it's not Morrissey, but uh, it's um, just awesome, awesome music. And... Uh, uh, I'm just happy to have this. This is probably my most forgotten about album of the decade. If I had to pick an album I forgot about for the decade, it would be this. Definitely one of the best of the last decade, for sure. And the final one came from a best friend in the UK. Was not expecting this one. I was just expecting something cool, but have one more thing to show. I love my compilations. Uh, Y'all know me for that. I love my soundtracks. But I got a compilation called 80s Alternative. So I'll let you pause and take a look at the back. It's a two LP set. But this is awesome. It's only on wax. But I definitely love it. And I'll show this one because I have a little bit of time. I love the uh, inner sleeves. <coughs> as well as the gatefold. But finally, somebody listen to me. Look how awesome this reverse gatefold is. I love when albums take the time out to make the reverse gatefold and the gatefold awesome. You know, that just that puts it over the top for me. And this, um, this arrived in a sketchy way. It came via Amazon. And the box was open, so I didn't get my uh, notes, my gift note for it. Uh, I was scared it didn't come. Uh, it would come damaged. It wasn't, thankfully, but... You know, you just got to keep watching out for all that stuff. So thank you for watching this very long rambly video. Uh, it's probably the longest I've done in a very long time since the beginning of this channel. I always try to keep my videos under like 5-10 minutes. But if it's longer, I apologize. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and a bright, awesome new year. There's some... Um, Really awesome things happening for this channel coming down the line, including a possible podcast with the wonderful Marigan. Uh, I've talked about her multiple times on this channel, but I'm going to leave a link to the description below for her channel for you to check her out. Awesome video, everything. By the time this is posted, I believe the first episode of our podcast is actually going to be uploaded. So I will leave a link to that channel down in the description below and check out the first video. Uh, very, very excited. Um, it's just going to be audio only because it's a podcast. So just play it on in the background. Um, very excited for that. 
I also wanted to plug the wonderful, wonderful uh, two Discord servers uh, that are close to my heart, my own one. And the Scene the Scene is a wonderful place to talk about music and they are very welcoming. Uh, I've, you know, they've been a friend of mine for a very long time, so I always, always want to plug them. And finally, I'm going to leave, uh, leave you, the viewer, as I leave every video by saying, when the waters get rough, please, please keep on sailing. Even if you feel like no one believes in you, I believe in you. It's a brand new year. You could do it. You could do the thing. You know, even if you had a lackluster start to the year, you have a whole year ahead of you. You have a whole lifetime ahead of you to, to figure things out. You are not alone. I am rooting for you. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Take care, as always, and see you next time.